Hi guys, I'm Dave. This is beer virtually. Well, today it's cider virtually. So I'm not much of a cider drinker, and this is the first cider we've reviewed on the channel. But Madison is not much of a beer drinker. I am not. At I'm all. His girlfriend, by the way. Hi, Madison. Nice to see you. He's not so good at introductions. We, well, you have been introduced in previous episodes. So. Madison went to Trader Joe's today after the gym, and she purchased this 750 milliliter bomber of Dan Armour Cidre Poir. Poir? Poir. Um, it's French. It's been a while. I don't think I ever learned the word pear in French, so I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. Made with fresh pressed pears, pear grown in France. It was as many as $4.99. This is a cuvee special. So this has a uh, champagne style cage and cork. Looks like a natural cork. So let's go ahead and get this party started. Should I be scared? No. Okay. I don't pop oh. corks very often. I'm a professional. Oh, okay. You it watch, it see, it, see, see it starting to go by its own? No, it makes it feel extra fancy. Dude, I might get scared. <sighs> nope, I got scared. I was like the. <laughs> yes, it's fine. So, according to Ken, these start as a cylinder. And that's from being compressed. That kind of makes sense. It How do they get does. them in there? Uh, force, I don't know. Hmm. You would think it would almost break the. Okay, so. They also make a brute um, cider. It's not a pear, but they make a brute. This uh, Dan Armour makes a brute. Smells good. It does smell pretty good. I love pear ciders in general. So I saw this and the price was very right. So I decided to give it a try. But I made him drink it with me because I can't drink all that at once. It's not a great drinker. This is uh, four and a half percent ABV. So it should be pretty easy drinking. Cheers. Not quite what I expected. I'm not mad about it. It is pretty tart, in my opinion, but also sweet. Yeah, it's weird. It's got almost like an apple juice sweetness. It does, which is weird because it's not apples. It tastes a lot like apple juice, as many ciders do, but this is pear. And it doesn't it's finish. Nice. It doesn't finish quite as clean as I expected either. It was four ninety nine. No, 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 but I mean, it, not not because it's four ninety nine. Just it kind of hangs on the back of your tongue a little bit. Like it never really ends. I get what you're saying. Yeah, it's making my mouth water. Actually, this is pretty refreshing, though. It is. The first sip was a little bit of a surprise, but the more I drink it, I think the better it tastes. I'm drinking mine pretty fast. This is good. Yeah, you are. Why don't you slowly roll? I see what it says on the bottle. Okay. Cider made from fresh pears grown in northwest of France. Slowly fermenting to create refreshing aromas and sweet flavors. No sugar was added to this well-balanced cider. And it's gluten-free. All cider's gluten-free, I'm pretty sure. So ingredients, pear cider, and it contains sulfites. Is that the stuff that's in wine? It is the stuff that's in wine. And I think they use it... To, to prevent the color from turning, maybe? No idea. Just couldn't tell you. I'm not a big wine drinker, either. Um, the best before date is August 2018. So, hmm. we are many moons out. Really? You think that's many moons? I was thinking that sounded soon. Well, the beer I drank tonight, well, was bottled December 14th. Okay. When was the best by date? They don't, they don't really do them like that. This does have some, this does have some, um, <clears throat> quality control stuff on here. It has a lot number, and there maybe this might be a Julian date, 925. 
if it's the Julian date, that wouldn't make sense though, because that's not the way they don't have a date in the Julian date. The Julian date is just month and year. That is not the Julian date. Maybe that was when it was bottled on nine twenty five. Possibly. This is a product of France, so uh That makes sense since it said the pears were from France. Yeah. Kinda looks like it's his dad. Yeah. Dad armor. Dad armor. Dad bod. Hashtag dad bod. Well, drinking enough cider and beer will get you a dad bod. Mm-hmm. Hey Dan Daddy. Okay. Doodle said hello. It's very apple, apple, apple Juice. juicy. It is, but it's not. I used to like when I like wake up hungover and chug apple juice. Dude, I would puke if I did that. Oh, it's so good. Cold, cold apple juice when you're hungover. It's good stuff. My mom hates apple juice. She also does not like cider because she hates apple juice. It, this is much simpler than most beers, though, as far as the range of flavors. Yeah, there's a pretty limited range you can get with just apples, or in this case, pears. Yeah, and since they're just pears in it, it's not seasoned with anything. There was also, um, were they the ones that make the, the cinnamon pear, or was that a different size? No, I think that was just something Anthony found online. This is a cool bottle. What's that sound? Fireworks, maybe? I don't know. There's a green glass bottle. Um, this would be a cool bottle, like if you were to cut and make a uh, candle people, holder. Yeah, or some people make lights. Yeah, them. like this is this has a uh, um, this has a hard line right right where it starts to go straight here, just above the label. I think it would make for a natural break of some sorts, or just mm -hmm. above it and have a band yeah. like on the bottom, like oh, mimic yeah, the band. That'd be nice. Yeah. But because it tapers so here, it might be hard to put this in a bottle cutter and get it get it straight. I don't know. And then you could probably find a um, beer bottle sized handle to put in there. Probably. Well, this is not my favorite cider. Definitely. What not is your favorite my cider? My favorite pear cider. As a go-to, I'm a big fan of the Stella Cidre. Um. But I also really enjoy, um, now I can't remember the brand. Recorder Link? No, I don't really like those, actually. Cider I, Boys? Cider Boys make some good ciders. The Strawberry? The Strawberry Magic is very good. I also like, um, I think Ace does a pair also that I enjoy. I had the Ace Pineapple beer one time, and I was not a huge fan. I've had... Was that a beer or a cider when we went to the Halloween party? Yeah. That was a cider. You sure? Pretty sure. Hmm, I don't know. I'm pretty sure. I peed that night, too. Not a great drinker. Not a great drinker. <laughs> so, yeah, this is very refreshing. I mean, it's like, uh... I feel like we should be... On a warm day, watching the Kentucky Derby or some something of, of that nature, maybe a golf match. But for four ninety nine, it's pretty, pretty drinkable. It's very drinkable. It's it's a great value, cider. What would you rank this on a scale of? <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Hot. <laughs> what would you rate this on a scale of one to five? Honestly. Probably a three, maybe a three two five. I would go a solid three and a half, maybe a three seven five. And why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you give it higher points? I don't like the initial taste. It's almost a little bit harsh, if that makes sense. I'm not getting any harsh. It's a little bit bright up front. Bright, you say. Come here, Doodle. Come on, stop yelling. Come in. Come in. <clears throat> and I don't like the smell of it. So that kind of turns me off. It does have a kind of a... I don't like it. Kind of like cheap crayons. Like the Rose Art crayons. 
doesn't smell anything like crayons. To me, it smells a little bit like bar. My nose is way better than his. She does have a more sensitive sense of smell. I've got the smell. nose of a hunting dog. It's pretty tasty. Agree to disagree. Yeah, I'm sticking with a three. I'm going to go three and a half. I would drink it if I had it. But... There is a lot of flavor initially. Like, it fills your mouth with flavor. Come here. And then it kind of never goes away. Like... <laughs> Yeah, it makes my mouth water, in my opinion. I'm not a huge cider drinker. I mean, I like ciders, and I used to drink, back in the day, I mean, I drank woodchuck, and 20 years ago, I drank, I drank woodchuck, and... Um, I wasn't allowed to drink 20 years ago. There's that. <laughs> I wasn't either. Oh. Almost, though. So. But I remember, I remember getting, you know, when, when I, I... I used to like to sample beers early on. Like, from the first time I drank it, like, I wanted to try all the different stuff. I wanted to try the Ice House, the, uh, the, the, the JB Honey Brown, or whatever that was. What was that? What? Yeah, um, there was a Honey Brown. It was, like, no idea. JW or J something Never Honey Brown. Never heard of it. I'll, f I'll put it, I'll, I'll find it and put a, put a picture of the bottle up. The first um, beer that I ever drank, I believe, was a... Milwaukee's best. Ooh, that's that's harsh. <laughs> yeah, Milwaukee's best. Well, you can only go up from there. So then, um, in college, I the had beast. some some Schlitz. Not I, a great one either. I don't think I've ever drank Schlitz and ever. And uh, Bush Ice was a go-to for my sweet mates, and so they introduced me to Bush Ice. We drank a lot of Bud Light and Miller Light. We drank Ice House. We drank Red Dog. Lot you ever of, have Red Dog? No. A lot of brownouts drinking those bush ices. Ken and I used to drink Southpaw, which was like cheap Bud Light. That sounds like cheap Bud Light. It sounds like cheap Milwaukee's Best is what Southpaw. it sounds like. Southpaw. Man, we, I, I haven't drank Southpaw. I don't even know if you can still get Southpaw. It was <laughs> cheap. I think I've heard of it. So Southpaw, so I heard it explained it's like that. You have almost like um, when they make tea, or you can make a second cup of tea with the same tea leaves. What does this have to do with the beer? They use, they reuse the wort and make a second batch and call it Southpaw. From what original beer? Bud Light. Oh. But you would get a headache from it like every time. Also, it was really easy drinking so you'd have like ten of them before you knew it. Well, you like this better than me, which I is do. actually surprising. I do. I like this. I would drink it. You, you want it? Nope. You can have the rest. I honestly did not expect to finish this whole bottle tonight. Two people. Are you mad about it? No, no. You know, I mean, well, unless you're going to put your high heel stopper in there? Yeah. High heel wine stopper? Served cold. We are drinking this on the colder side. Um, we're drinking this definitely in the 40s. Probably mid... Uh, probably started out low 40s even. Do the same temperature rules apply to cider? I think anything light in general should be drank cold. Anything darker in general, uh, more flavors come out as it gets warm. I see. <clears throat> that makes my mouth water. I feel like that's a bad thing. I, yeah, I'm, I like it. I find I, I think it's refreshing. I think. Nice. Come here. Anything else? I'm gonna see if Doodle wants to drink it. She'll lick the glass. Want to lick the glass, Doodle? No. Aw, it probably smells too strong for her. Doodle doesn't like strong scents. You gonna finish that? Why are you trying to? No, no, you trying no. to bum my cider? No, me? I'm good. Okay. Well, this is the first cider we've reviewed. It probably won't be the last. Probably not. Because there's some, there are some good ciders. Maybe we'll do some cider boy stuff. Well, then we have to do ones that I've never had before. Sure, we can do that. 
there are plenty you haven't had. There's a whole new cider section at Total Wine. Oh, really? Yes. That's exciting. That's exciting. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> that, that, that was something. <laughs> okay, Doodle's angry. She wants us to stop. All right. All right. Until next time. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>